Holmes, are you home? James. Oh God. Oh God. This is Detective Jackson Claus. I'm with Agent Williams in Buffalo. We're ready for the mission. The victim's name is James Pendergast. He was the CEO of 60X, a comic book store. He owns this house as well, which he's been living in for about three and a half years. He was stabbed by something sharp in the back and bled to death. All right. Did you find any witnesses? Negative. According to Mr. Pendergast's morning schedule, he was resting home alone with no visiting guests. Thank you, Selena. How's it going, Ree? Hmm. The blood is a little bit fresh. The approximate time of death should be around 11 to 11.15. I couldn't find any weapons or crime clothes or anything, but I found a cup on the ground with some brown liquid inside. I think it might be coffee. The carpet is still wet here. It does smell like coffee. Seems like he got stabbed while holding a cup of coffee in his hands. Huh? Why is there some blood over there? Alright, so who found the body in the first place? It was me. Um, and my two other friends. We were together. They're in there. You're the two friends with this lady? Yes. We were supposed to be here to meet James at 3 p.m. for the celebration of our first published comic, but... Why would James kill himself? Who would think he would do that? No. He didn't kill himself. What? If a person commits suicide, there's no reason for him to stab himself in the back. Plus, there was no murder weapon found at the crime scene. James was murdered. By whom? We don't know yet. I actually have some questions for you guys, if you don't mind. Could you one by one tell me your name, your relationship to the victim, and where you were this morning from 11 to 11.15 a.m.? Um, my name is Elizabeth Thompson. I am the supervisor of 6 x Studios. Uh, James is my boss, but he was more like my friend. This morning, I was at home, sleeping until around 11.30, because you know, it's the holidays. Um, but I live alone, so nobody can say anything for me. My name is Elizabeth Shannon. I'm a graphic writer at 60X Studio. James is my boss. At 11 this morning, I was having lunch with this man. Yeah, we went to a restaurant called Pudding Moon in Center City. It's like a 20 minute drive from here. We were eating until 12 p.m. so we can prove each other's alibis. I'm Isaac Kennedy, by the way. I'm also a graphic writer. They literally do this every day. So you guys are a couple then? Um, yeah. Yeah? Jesus, you've been together for a year and you're still not official yet? Anyway, how did you guys get into the house? Uh, I have a backup key to this house. I think James only gave one to me, but normally we all come together for some meetings in here. Can we get your guys' phone numbers? Just in case we need to contact you later. Yeah, sure. Uh, I don't have my phone with me right now. My phone it was broken last week. It's still being repaired in the store. Then how do you communicate with these people? Using the phone in my house. It's the only way. How are you going to check the time if you got to meet someone at a certain point? I'm wearing my watch all the time. One person doesn't have an alibi for the crime. The other two are together and one of them can only communicate at home because his phone is broken. 
Are all these coincidences? What's going on? This guy's been sneaking around the house for five minutes. He's suspicious. You. I know you. I saw you outside of the house when we got here. Did you kill James? I, I didn't do anything. Do any of you know this guy? Uh, no, we've never seen him before. Alright, sir, in case you weren't aware, we're in the middle of an extreme situation. I can't allow you to keep hanging around this house. I know, I know, I, I have evidence. <laughs> Who are you? Get off me. My name is Taro Hidaki. I'm a Japanese photographer. I was here this morning and uh, I was taking some photos of the city's neighborhoods. And when I was ready to leave like 10 minutes ago, I heard there was a crime happening here, but I didn't see anything wrong. But I took a lot of pictures, so I think it might help you find something you may need. He's lying. He's been around this house for too long. It has to be him. I didn't kill anybody. I don't even know you guys. All right. Let's see your photos. Oh, all these are outside of random places. There's nothing to do with the crime. It has nothing to do with the crime scene at all. Wait, wait. Go back. Wait, is that James's house? Yeah, it is. Wait! I can see something in the window! Can you zoom in here? Oh, uh, yeah. What the hell is that? Over N. What the hell is that supposed to mean? You, know, you guys knew, know what that means? I don't know. It's so scary how there was a thing on the window and now it's gone. Right. So our autopsy report indicated that there was plenty of blood on James's right index finger. So the message written on the window must have been from him. I mean, if he wanted to get help from people outside, why do you write such a tricky message? Why didn't he just write help or SOS? Is it the murderer's name? Nah, it doesn't look like a name at all. So what does it mean? Does it mean anything to you, Jackson? No. No, I have no idea. I feel so strange. If the victim only had one last breath, why not leave something more straightforward about the attacker? What exactly did he want to tell us? Wait. M over N. That means M is the powerful one. Do any of your names start with M? No, nobody. If the letter N means two different names, then who's N? James Pendergast doesn't start with N. It must be him. He killed James and wrote shit on the window to confuse us. It must be. It's not Taro. James knew that you were coming to the house this afternoon, but the door was still locked, which means the door is always locked. And since there was no sign of a break-in or a big fight in here, no one could have broken into the house, which means that James must have been killed by someone who he opened the door willingly for, which means he's most likely one of you three. Seriously? We found the body. That doesn't mean we killed him. Do you have any proof of that? Look, I know it sounds insane, but it's our big guess. This is not a guess. This is nonsense. We told you we weren't here when he died. It's impossible for us to have murdered him. All right, my apologies. You don't know what that sign means on that window either, do you? And the weapon that was used to stab James in the back. You even found it? I should lie down to see if there's anything under the couch. Lie down? 
So what now? We haven't done anything wrong. Can you let us go? All right. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take 10 minutes to search around the house, see if we can find the bloody weapon from the crime. Until then, we need you all to stay up in James's room. I'll let you know when you can go, all right? Sorry for the inconvenience. You too. Keep an eye. All right, you search downstairs, especially the kitchen. I'll search upstairs. Okay. All Anything? Afraid not. You? Mm -mm. Uh, keep searching. My name is Elizabeth Shannon. I'm Isaac Kennedy, by the way. I'm also a graphic writer. Yeah, sure. Uh, I don't have my phone with me right now. Are you gonna check the time? I'm wearing my watch all the time. My name is Taro Hidaki. I'm a Japanese photographer. I, I didn't do anything. M over N. That means M is the powerful. Is it the murderer's name? We told you, we weren't here when he died. It's impossible for us to have murdered him. Why do you write such a tricky message? The time of death should be around 11 to 11. We found the body. That doesn't mean we killed him. I saw you outside. Yeah, we killed James and broke shit on the window. Do you have any... We should lie down and see if there's anything under the couch. I see it. That's what it is. The sign. What he's been trying to tell us, I get it. I can't believe I was wrong about such a silly trick. The killer behind the curtain. I've got you. 